On the 20th of October, the European Biomass Association met the representatives of France Miscanthus to ask about developments concerning agricultural biomass and energy crops foreseen by the Common Agricultural Policy Reform negotiations. We were interested in learning about their vision for the future. To begin with, could you please define agricultural biomass and energy crops? Uh, agricultural biomass is a uh, biomass that is sourced from agricultural land and this was mainly understood as uh, agricultural byproducts or residues uh, such as straw for example but here we will more refer to uh, um, dedicated energy crops such as miscanthus or willow or switchgrass and uh, their, their uses, uh, they are extremely productive and so they can be uh, successfully uh, used as um, feedstock for, um, for um, energy. Where do you see the need for agricultural biomass and what is its potential? Um, agricultural biomass has uh, great potential uh, and mainly uh, to replace uh, harmful um, fossil fuels, of course. And uh, the important thing is to take into account uh, the multifunctional uh, use of uh, agricultural biomass. Speaking of multifunctionality of energy crops, uh, can you provide a few practical examples? Yes, indeed. Um, uh, these energy crops are perennial and this means that uh, there is reduced tillage and uh, that will also help farmers not to use any chemicals or fertilizers after uh, having um, established a crop. These crops also are uh, used for uh, farmers to fight against soil erosion very su successfully. Also, uh, these crops can be used um, to, um, to be planted on water catchment areas to promote drinking water quality. And this is uh, uh, a great um, advantage of energy crops as well. So, how can we encourage the development of agricultural biomass and energy crops in the future common agricultural policy? Well, I can tell you that uh, France Miscanthus and IBM are very pleased to uh, realize that um, Miscanthus has been made eligible on uh, ecological focus areas and um, we however would like to um, emphasize the fact that uh, the weighting factor is for the moment 0 0.7 and uh, we, we would like uh, um, that it uh, would be on par with other crops that are also eligible on the FAs and it would have a weighting factor of 1. Last question, Emmanuel. In your opinion, why is it necessary to support agricultural biomass and energy crops? I would say the first thing is that um, this will help farmers to contribute better towards a more uh, environmentally efficient farming. And this will be by uh, better carbon balance in the way that carbon is being kept uh, within the rhizome and the rooting system of, of such crops. I, I would like to uh, add a few uh, positive aspects of uh, the use of uh, miscanthus uh, and uh, its contribution to, to uh, uh, environmentally friendly agriculture and this is all the uses of miscanthus uh, of course you think about energy um, which is uh, the first one that springs to mind but uh, there is also uh, mulching uh, in order to replace um, pesticides for uh, um, the use uh, against weeds for cities. Also animal bedding, which will be contribute uh, greatly to uh, more environmentally friendly farming. Uh, and then there, there are advanced uses such as bio-based plastics and uh, bio-based industry in general but also uh, insulation material, building material and all these products will uh, uh, contribute to um, more uh, environmentally friendly um, uses. If you want to know more about the situation of Miscanthus in France, click on the following interview with Alain Jarrois, the president of France Miscanthus. Or click on the link to the European Bioenergy Future Conference to learn about our panel on the topic.